been five years since I've begun this battle. For iguanas, their strength are in numbers. It's breeding season. If we don't act now, there could be dire consequences. I've got a catch pole, air rifles, and traps. But it's going to take an army for this battle. You are watching The Iguana Man. What's up, Iguana family? It's your friend, The Iguana Man, and I'm back at you with another video. Um, as you can see, it's nice, bright, and sunny out. Yesterday it was raining, and actually, uh, one of my customers has been sending me pictures of very large iguanas. Um, we believe that they're claiming territory and potentially trying to breed. So we're gonna go ahead, we're picking up the crew right now, and we're gonna see if we can make contact and see if we can bag these iguanas. Now, like I said, yesterday it was raining. Today is sunny, it's uh, 10 a.m. in the morning and it's already 80 degrees, no clouds, no wind. So I think today is gonna be a fantastic day. All right, real quick, These. this is the report that we got. There's one iguana right there. I think that's the same dude, yep, that's the same dude. And then we have this big bull right here with a female. Look at that right there. You already know what they were probably trying to do. They're trying to do the iguana business and breed and make some more iguanas. So everything is confirmed for today. We are scheduled and they are expecting us. Look at that. There's an iguana trying to break in this apartment. Wow. Look at him, he's just climbing on the wall, straight up like that. Pretty wild. Well, 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 if it isn't the Iguana Ninja, what's up, buddy? Feel that heat already? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, it's gonna be a scorcher today. And there should be a lot of these sun dragons out. Let's go to base camp and let's set everything up and let's go over the strategy, all right? All right. Let's do it. Ooh. Good shot. Just had to get it toned in. Yeah. Hey, good shot. Good shot. Thanks. He, he just, you see, we had an officer go just right drive back. past and right. said hello. He knew what we were doing. He saw the colors. No problem. No problem. Not a problem, y'all. Like I said, y'all, make sure you have authority and make sure you guys are, are, are presenting yourself so everybody knows what you're doing. You come out here acting crazy, doing stupid stuff. I mean, that's how you get in trouble. Oh, there's another one, bro. Ooh, right here. Grab that boy. They're strong bass. Ooh, there's a hole here. There's a hole? Oh, wow, he's probably going for that escape. Right underneath the tree. Look at that. Baby alpha right there. Baby alpha. Mm -hmm. Look at that comb. The boy is changing as we speak, well, as we were. <laughs> incredible, incredible, incredible. He was green like probably like a month ago, you know? Yeah. Really. He's going through that, that metamorphosis right now. to alpha. Oh. Those bad iguanas. Literally. In a bag. On to the next one. Mm -hmm. How good do they? How long do they stay good like that? Uh, depending on the temperature, but they can stay good. But we'll we'll probably uh, I'll probably get a cooler and drop them in there. You know. Yeah, I saw when you did the boat with your friend there. Put them in the cooler. Yeah. Yeah. Keep them nice and fresh. Yeah, is that any good? All right, so we're over here and check it out. This is the first iguana that we were able to euthanize real quick. <laughs> first gun ever that i shot right there look at that thing look at that comb is that what you call it a comb yep yep yep, nice. yep it's got a nice comb humane just like that lights out for the iguana yep and uh you know this yep. is going to be the first of many many more yep it's going to be removed on today's, today's a show. fun day yeah. I have no idea how deep this hole is here. I'm going to hold your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I see him, I see him, I see him. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Good? Don't move him. Got him. Ugh. 
pull them out that hole. Ugh. Whoa. I got him. I got, got him. him. I got, him. Yeah. You got one more for him? Yep, for sure. All right, just put it right on him. They're tough, boy. Yeah, they tough, are. Tough, man. That's no big, joke. Big female right here. Red female, too. That's a girl. Yeah. See how she's turning red like that? Yeah. Getting to those breeding formations. It's incredible. It's incredible. We so took out a couple back. of the smaller ones, but still we're looking for that big orange alpha. Big bull. And at this point, I think we spotted them. Take it's up to us to get a nice critical headshot, drop them, and put them in the bag. It. One and done, baby. Hold on, there he is. Ooh. That's it, y'all. The way the cookie crumbles. Okay, that went perfect. Yep. That right there was a the flawless victory, y'all. Beast out of the tree. Just like that. And not to worry, y'all. Everything that y'all seeing out here, we got full permission to be out here. Um, we're contracted, and also all the iguanas harvested on today's show is going to be used for food, y'all. So it's like a win-win situation. Yeah. Yep. Helping the environment. And also helping our bellies, you know what I'm saying? None of these iguanas are going to go to waste. Remember, iguanas are invasive species here in Florida. So I want to give a huge shout out to our boy Matt Mallory for coming out here, y'all. It's incredible that we managed to spot and capture this giant iguana in the tree at this golf course. We just got hired out here. So we're going to be out here a lot more often. Hope you guys enjoy this short footage. But not to worry, none of these animals are going to go to waste. Yeah, give them the whole bag. All right, y'all, hey, we're over here at this job. We're about to go to the other job, but we got some friends right here doing some landscaping. So we're like, hey, we might as well share some of the green gold with our buddies. You have some iguanas. Let's see what we have, my friend. Okay, thank you. That's thank good? you very much. That's I good? appreciate it. Where are, you, where are you from? Guatemala. Oh, what's the recipe you cook with it? With uh, coconut? No, um... Curry? Uh, I, I don't know how, how to explain it. He speaks but, Spanish. Ask him what recipe he cooks. ¿Qué es la receta? Ah, es como como pre. Has has escuchado el pepián que preparan en Guatemala casi en esa forma. Casi en el recado lo ponen a a asar primero, después lo ponen a cocer, después le echan el recado encima. They set the they grill it first, you know, like a steak, and then they then they like uh, put the sauce on and stuff. Oh, oh, like the green sauce. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Well, you enjoy, all right, man? Okay, thank you. You enjoy. You have a great day, man. All right. Just like that, out of the ecosystem, it's going to be feeding some hardworking people out here. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up on this little shoot right here. Hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to go see if we can get that big boy. Now it's time to go to the main job. We'll see you out there. What's up, y'all? It's your friend, the Iguana Man. We're back at y'all with another quick video. As you guys can see right here, we have a dead iguana on the road. And this just goes to show you, there is an interaction at least a hundred times per day here in the state of Florida with iguanas and motor vehicles. What am I talking about? These animals are moving, they're on the road, they're basking. Roads are on there and the animals don't, they can't comprehend what a road is and what a car is, you know? They don't even know what a little noose is going over their neck. Don't even know what that is either, or a pellet. But anyways, see that right there? Clear signs of, you know, iguana and car interaction. What's gonna happen in the future? The more these animals keep breeding and their populations go up, the more they're going to be on the road and the more potential for accidents are going to, are going to be. People are going to swerve and go off the road to miss it. Exactly. Exactly. There's a, you know, a big alpha sitting on the road. You're going 40 miles per hour. You don't really see it until you, it's too late. You hit the brakes, you lose control. You're in a ditch. The iguana runs off. Or let's say you hit the iguana, you lose control. You know, things can happen. There are scenarios where, you know, accidents ha can happen and accidents have had happened before. Mm -hmm. We have an incident with a firefighter right, and the key's on his way back. We also have an incident with a nurse in Pembroke Pines. She's in critical condition. The firefighter actually died too mm. in that incident. And like I said, there's at least minimum 100 interactions per day with iguanas in cars. I see at least like five of them per day. Invasive. Yeah, it, extremely invasive and potentially dangerous. We're gonna go ahead and get this roadkill off the road right here. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> throw it over here just so we don't want no other animals to go on the road no raccoons yeah. or vultures and you know potentially another accident so drop some comments and let me know what you think about this phenomenon are iguanas taking over the state of florida and are they on the roads like that potentially causing accidents 
Are they? I don't, drop some comments and let me know what you think.